from our Center for the Arts studio, this is your AUTV 20 News Break. I'm Caitlin Meeks. Thanks for tuning in. Ashland University is continuing their Faith and Society Lecture Series with guest speaker Christian Miller, Professor of Philosophy from Wake Forest University. The title of the lecture is Falling Short and Becoming a Better Person, Insights from Psychology, Philosophy, and Christianity. The event is scheduled for Friday, March 25th at 3 p.m. in Ronk Lecture Hall, located in the College for Education. The event is free and open to the public. In local news, the local primary elections are up in air due to Secretary of State Greg LaRose has ordered the halt of all primary election ballots from being altered and mailed out overseas or to military. The news came one day after the Ohio Supreme Court rejected the third legislative map last week. The primary elections are scheduled for May 3rd, but with all the delays, the election is predicted to be pushed back by a few weeks. Recently, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki has tested positive for COVID-19 on Tuesday, which was on the eve of President Joe Biden's trip overseas. Psaki said that she was in meetings with Biden on Monday, but Biden tested negative for COVID. Psaki also said that she only has mild symptoms and will be working from home and will return after a five-day isolation period and a negative COVID-19 test. This is the second time Saki has tested positive for COVID, and the first time was on October 31st of 2021. Now, a look at our five-day weather forecast here in Ashland, Ohio. Today, we are seeing a chance of rain showers with 65 as the high and 54 as the low. Thursday, we will see cloudy skies with a high of 52 and a low of 39. Friday is overcast with a chance of rain showers with 44 as the high and 34 as the low. Saturday and Sunday, we'll see a chance of snow showers with 40 as the high Saturday and 34 on Sunday. That is it for this AUTV20 news break. Be sure to follow us across social media at AUTV20. I'm Caitlin Meeks. Thanks for watching.